Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night and that you'll enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. Oh no! I will be single forever! Oh no! Oh no! Well, don't celebrate just yet, sunshine. First, let's take a look at your latest video. The joy and the peace of not receiving a text message from a man in many hours. But also, the sadness and depression. Yeah, and let's not forget the loneliness. See, this is what usually happens when you're following an ideology to the letter without even believing most of the times in that ideology. Or believing that ideology to some extent, but not considering that it may not apply to you. There are a lot of women that enjoy a single life and they choose to remain single. But just because they're pushing that ideology, it doesn't mean that it applies to everyone. And on the other hand, we have women that will love to find a partner, but they can't. And they're also trying to push that single life ideology on other women, because, you know, misery loves company. So maybe next time, consider what's best for you and act accordingly. Right, so there was music playing on the background, I had to mute for obvious reasons, so I'm gonna read what she said. Seven things high value women don't do. Seriously? <laughs> okay, let's get into it then. Chase people. Center men and relationships. Accept the bare minimum in relationships and friendships. Beg for attention. Allow low quality situation into her life. Let external validation fuel her self worth. Entertain people longer than their expiry date. Click, blah, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So, high value women, right? How do you even know? You've seen one in a Disney movie? Yeah, let me tell you what high value women actually do. They're at home, happily married, bringing value into their husband's lives. That's what they do. What they don't do is posting TikToks claiming they're high value women. very specific text messages to make a girl go from sort of interested to super interested so here are examples of texts that intrigue that is what you want to do to a woman and if you want to learn how to intrigue her i can help coach you dm me in, on instagram or in the comments down below so here are specific examples of texts that intrigue a woman i just saw the best thing ever another text you don't even know what's happening in my life right now dot 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 another text it's all your fault winky face or that face where it's like two eye like okay like like two eyes and then like a, a small eye it's hard to explain just say it's all your fault winky face but like that other face is better or a moon face moon emoji yes she'll just say what's my fault or something like that and then you just do like a wink or like a cute little and like emoji i i want to show you the actual emojis and use it at the end of the sentence and you guys follow me and don't forget if you want coaching let me know in the comments and instagram yeah no i do appreciate the offer though but no i'm good some of the stuff you said if she's half interested it will raise her curiosity and she's gonna reply back maybe if she's not that interested she's not gonna care what happened to you today and the two eyes with another smaller eye emoji what are we, 12? Can we all pretend like we're adults, like we're grown-ups? Maybe have a real conversation? Because the end goal is for us to get to know each other, right? You judge or get to know my character, my personality from an emoji with two eyes with a smaller eye? Come on now. And I'm gonna get to know you and know your personality and your character by the moon emoji that you're gonna send back? These are the dating coaches of TikToks and we wonder why dating is so bad these days. What to text a girl to make her literally crave you, obsessed with you, and just everything good? What's the text? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Hey, do you want to play truth or truth? This is what I had to wait for it, wait for it, wait. Really? Truth or truth? I really don't believe in that blonde stereotype, but if you're this blonde, we're gonna play lie or dare. Lie, as in I pretend to want more than to just disappoint you for 30 seconds, and dare, as in I dare you to even remember my name once I'm gone. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm weird like that, but I am attracted to some level of intelligence in my partner. 
Guys, I have finally found a reason for my boyfriend to live. It's simple, really. His sole purpose is to hold my shopping bags while I spend all of his money in Soho. And once he has completed this task, I will discard of him and throw him out of our hotel window. Wait, what? Shut up. Men are to be seen and not heard. Yeah, well, maybe this was posted as a joke, but that guy right there is the king of Sims. The fact that you decided to take part in this video, my man, you have no spine. And I'm saying this because I've seen most of her videos. I think I did post it a few. And she is talking about hate on men, women empowerment and all the other BS on her videos. So, so this is why it's disgusting for me to see him in her video. But to be honest, this is what they're looking for. All this strong and independent, they're looking for Sims. Or in a more gentle way, a yes ma'am. And the problem is, these men think they hit the lottery, but in reality, they're not gonna be in long-term relationships with these women. Women will never respect a man like that, and they're gonna dump them as soon as a better one comes along. But hey, maybe it's me who's wrong? Just let me know in the comments below. Dating cannot possibly be this hard for everyone. Yeah, well, actually it is. But hey, if it makes you feel any better, it's only gonna get worse. <laughs> Guys wanna marry me until they find out I'm a nerd and I watch Star Wars. Yeah, that's not gonna be it. No one cares if you're a nerd. Some men actually find that attractive. But if by Star Wars you mean the future is female trilogy, yeah, I can see how that is gonna be a problem. Other than that, to be honest, if guys wanted to marry you, you'll be married by now. And yes, I know, of course, you have your standards, but I'm not gonna believe even for a second that no man ever met your standards so far. Being delusional is so much fun because it always works. For example, if I see a man who I know could be my man, I'm telling myself that is my man, and I'm telling all my friends too. And then when I go tell him, you know you're my man now, it always works out because the confidence delusion is just confidence and you actually end up getting everything you want because you know when people go in places like dressed in like construction gear and they just get into anywhere that's literally what you're doing like with delusion you're just going in acting like you're supposed to be there acting like it's supposed to happen and when you have that confidence everyone else follows suit yes that is my man yes you are my man we go together now Yes, I could get into this club because I'm hot. I'm literally going to go ask security to go backstage. I am going to get an upgrade for whatever I want because I asked. I'm delusional and have a god complex. Well, I actually believe you. Obviously, you're delusional. I'm not sure how that's going to help you out though, but you're obviously delusional. What I can't stop from wondering though is, how are you still single? With all these men that you're telling them they're your men now, how are you still single? People dressed up as construction workers get into places? Yeah, in construction sites. I'm not really sure if that's gonna help them get into a five-star restaurant though, but hey, if you're saying that, I'm gonna choose to not believe you, but believe that you're delusional. God complex? Yeah, I believe you there. I mean, how many of you lately won't have a God complex? Yeah, because yelling like that is gonna get you a boyfriend. You want two boyfriends, you can't even get one and you want two? Yeah, I really don't see that happening. Two hookups, two one-night stands? Yeah, obviously. Boyfriends? No. <laughs> Come on, people, don't laugh. Just because the guy in the suit bought himself a Vashmobile doesn't give you the right to laugh at him. Anyway, this is gonna be it for today's video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you in the next one.